The next view is the parasternal short axis view. From the long axis view, we rotate the transducer clockwise by 90 degrees. The transducer orientation marker should now face the patient's left shoulder. The view that we see here is called the parasternal short axis view at the aortic level. The aortic valve is seen as a Mercedes-Benz sign at the center of the image. We now need to get to the mid-papillary short axis view. This is done by fanning the transducer towards the apex of the left ventricle. The ultrasound beam will now cut the left ventricle through the papillary muscles. The parasternal short axis view at the mid-papillary level is shown here. The anterolateral and posteromedial papillary muscles are seen. All four walls of the left ventricle are seen in this view as well. These are the anterior, inferior, lateral and septal walls.